Hi everyone and welcome to Shining 3D's Dental Salon, episode 16. My name is Chris and today we're going to be talking about AccuDesign. AccuDesign is our model building module included with our scanning and slicing software. It can be accessed from the pre-designed phase of the scanning softwares or at any point during use of AccuWare. Once you open AccuDesign, you will be greeted with the import model screen. If you are using the scanning software version, you will already have your scan data imported into the module. If you're using AccuDesign, you'll have an uh, import project files button, which you can select any scanning project file from one of our uh, scanning softwares. Or you can select the individual upper or lower jaw to import using any scan data in the PLY, OBJ, or STL format. On this screen, you have several options, including return to software. This will bring you back to either dental scan, interoral scan, or AccuWare, depending on which one you open this module with. There's the about button, which will show you the software version. And then there's the help button, which will open up the user manual for AccuDesign. The design type option will allow you to select between non-separated model or non-separated die for extra dies. And you can choose either an individual upper jaw or lower jaw, or you can select them both and can hit next to continue. For this demonstration, I'll be using the AccuWare version of AccuDesign, and it'll import a project file from our desktop scanner. In the pre-processing phase, you will have the ability to adjust the coordinates of your scan data. This is used for aligning the models. There's an automatic alignment function in the bottom center of the screen, or you can manually adjust and rotate with the mouse. And there's an undo button as well if you wish to reset the position of the model. On the following screen, you have access to the other pre-processing options. On the left side of the screen, you will see the model list. You can adjust the opacities of the scan data for the upper and the lower jaw. As well, you have camera controls in the bottom left. And you have many tools for editing the data, including the plain cut, the brush tool, the lasso tool, and the cut through option. When you have this enabled, any data that you edit will go all the way through. If you have it disabled, you will only be affecting one side of the scan. As well, there is the undo and redo function commands and the cancel and accept changes. On the right side of the screen, you have the remove isolated data and fill holes functions. Remove isolated data will remove any floating parts of the scan. And the fill holes will ensure that the model is watertight for printing. Next, we have the model setting page. Here you can adjust the base height and the generation type, you can set that to either hollow or solid. The solid model will make a base that has a flat surface on the bottom, and the hollow model will save on resources by having a honeycomb structure on the inside that has drain holes. You can adjust the model thickness for the hollow model type. And when you're happy with these adjustments, you can hit the next button in order to move to the next step. Once the model is finished generating, you can take a look to see the hollow model structure. We have this honeycomb base. This maintains structural integrity while reducing the amount of material used in printing. On the attachment settings page, you are able to add text to the base of the model. You can adjust the text by dragging them around on the model base. You can increase the text size, the slider on the right, and you can adjust the height of the text as well. The text can either be convex or concave, and the text height setting will adjust how far in or out of the model that extrudes or intrudes. As well, you can add drain holes on the drain hole tab. You can change the diameter of those and hit generate to automatically place drain holes around the model. You are able to Click on these drain holes to move them, or add more if you think there needs to be more. 
Once you're happy with that, we can move on to the articulator settings. You can choose the size of the articulator you wish to add. We got large, medium, small, and one for quadrant models. Once you have a size selected, double click on the model to add the articulator. If you click on the base of the articulator, you can change the rotation angle of it. And when you're happy with the changes, you can hit next to generate the final model. Once generating is done, you can see the final product here. And the model building process is complete. At this step, you can save the model. This will save it as an STL in your order folder if you're using the scanning software, or you could designate a folder if you're using the AccuWare version. The print button will bring you right into AccuWare. and the model will be ready to print. That is all for our video on AccuDesign today. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.